All right, on to game number two. We have four and two Grass Lake, three and two in the conference, heading over to five and one Addison, four and one in the conference. Uh, and last year, Grass Lake handled Addison pretty handily, 50 to six. And in another game that Grass Lake won big last year over East Jackson, I tried to say that East Jackson would come back and win this year, and then Grass Lake won 55 to zero. But I'm more confident about predicting that Addison will come back uh, and rebound off a big loss last year to, to win this one this year, and I'll tell you why. It's because Grass Lake is just so hard to figure out. They've had a really good passing game. Junior Sean Hickey has looked nice this year, uh, passing for more than 200 yards per game. When the Warriors have gotten into trouble is when they have lost the turnover battle. Uh, Grass Lake quarterbacks have thrown 11 interceptions this season, uh, and that's just too many to win consistently in just six games because every possession at the high school level really counts. And uh, they, they also just don't really score when you think they might and do score when you think they won't. After Napoleon gave up 35 week one, Grass Lake was only able to get eight that next week. And then last week against Hanover Horton, a defense that had looked pretty good against everyone except Napoleon, Grass Lake puts up a 39 spot on them. So, I mean, really just difficult stuff to figure out. On the other side, with Addison, you know exactly what you're going to get. They're going to run the ball. They're not going to throw it a lot. And they're going to make you just stop their wing tee. Uh, and one of the people in this photo who I think should get a little more attention than he does is uh, quarterback Donovan Underwood. His, his stats don't really fill up the, uh, the, the box score at the end of the day. But uh, he's the one who makes the decisions uh, on that triple option. Who's going to get it? Dart, um, Kniper, Heckerman, you name it. and uh, Or Dominic Young. And then defensively, he makes the calls in the middle. So he's really a leader for Addison on both sides of the ball. And someone who's going to need to be key for Grass Lake is Scott Crutchfield. Crutchfield has been the number one threat in the passing attack this season for Grass Lake. He has 618 receiving yards and seven touchdowns, which is more than 100 receiving yards and a touchdown every game. But I do believe Addison's rushing attack will be too much for Grass Lake to slow down. And conversely, uh, Grass Lake has not been able to get any rushing offense going. And Addison, with the exception of stopping Michigan Center, has slowed every team's running game uh, almost all the way to a grinding halt. Uh, Addison, 5-1, and one, just one game away from earning its first playoff berth since 2008. Grass Lake has made the postseason for a dozen straight years, looking to make it 13. Grass Lake doesn't get any closer this week, while Addison clinches its first playoff berth in nearly a decade. I got the Panthers beating the Warriors 38-21. to 21.